Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Are you tired of swimming around trying to catch fish and then gonna cook the fish? Do you wish you could just grow your own food? Well, you can. And for that, you need some interior grow beds and, of course, some seeds. But I'll show you how to get them so you can become a right old horticulturalist and get off that seafood diet. Now, nobody said that eating fish was bad for you but it's nice to have a little bit of variety. And certainly in Subnautica, variety is gonna be the spice of life and gonna keep you going. So how do you get these interior grow beds? Where's their location and how can you get them nice and easy? So you can get a food source to rely on other than just fish all the time. Okay, looking at your base, your starting pod. You wanna head due east. Now, stay on this heading, don't get distracted by any of the fish or anything else that you might see, anything on the sea floor. It's all there to take you off your course. Keep on swimming, keep on going. There's gonna be lots of things to try and get in your way. Now, as you approach this area, you'll see all these stalactites. Keep on going, look out for any sea monkeys. Keep on going. Now, as you can see, you can go up for air. I'd encourage you to do that. Change your heading to north. This is the area and location you want. Up you come, and you're in this area. Now, I am 440 meters northeast of my sea truck and my drop pod. And as you can see, here's my area. If you're feeling a little bit frosty, a little bit hypothermic, don't forget those thermal lilies are your friend. If you've got a scanner, start scanning items as you find them around the area, like the light stick. This area is also gonna have items like a snowman that you can scan. Unfortunately, you can't get the rebreather off him, but it is worthwhile giving him a scan so it goes into your inventory if you're a completist. Also, those plants as well, the bulb bushes, you can go and give them a scan as well to add to your exobiology. Now you'll notice the great big honking base in the corner of the screen as well. This is where you're gonna find a multitude of items, not only the nice large room fragment, gotta have somewhere to put all the materials that you scavenge in Subnautica Below Zero, but also a bulkhead as well. You're also gonna find other items here, like the water filtration unit, like chairs, like ion cubes, all these things that are gonna start adding into the story. Now, once you've got yourself inside, you're gonna be tempted to start scanning everything, and so you should, but go in and move to the left. And in this small multi-purpose room, which you can also scan to get the multi-purpose room blueprint, you're gonna find a swivel chair. You're gonna find the exterior grow beds, and in them, planted some seeds as well, and some trees. Pick up the seeds, from them, you can then start growing your own food, once you've got the grow bed, scan that lantern tree, pick up the lantern tree nuts, and now you're never gonna go hungry in Subnautica. Now, when I say you're never gonna go hungry, there's always fish to eat, but that can be a bit boring. And of course, you've gotta to remember to take the food with you as well. So once you're in there, scan everything. Don't forget to scan the multi-purpose room glass dome as well, because that's very important for some of your, your great big base builders out there. I mean, that's an awful lot of natural lighting. Once you've got that, it's time to head back to your base and start planting lantern seed nuts to get a lantern seed tree in your exterior grow beds in Subnautica Below Zero. It's that easy and you can get this on day one without any specialist equipment.